Well, at yeah. least we're getting some relief now, but a lots of rain in the process here. Yeah, too. we are getting some relief. We definitely helped contribute to that hottest summer status, mm -hmm. especially over the past couple of weeks. But now, again, you can't end a heat wave like that without some volatility outside. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing some downpours out there this afternoon and this evening. Actually, a severe thunderstorm warning has just been posted for portions of Kent County, Delaware. So let's get right into it. We'll take you out to Storm Scan 3, and you can see how it's kind of lighting up here with showers and storms, some of which are locally heavy lots of lightning, especially across Delaware and South Jersey, the Delaware Bay. And keep in mind, lightning can strike up to 10 miles from the center of a storm. So if you can hear that thunder, get inside. You still can be struck. Even if you're in Cumberland County, the storms are just south of you over the Delaware Bay. We do have a few more showers and storms firing up in our north and west suburbs. These are kind of drifting to the east southeast. You can see one cell just popped up over the city of Philadelphia, where it is now raining. And that's going to slow that Friday afternoon commute there on 76 on the Schuylkill. We've got one storm now that has shifted from the northeast into New Jersey, moving over Delran. That'll slow you down on the New Jersey Turnpike in 95. And another one right over the northeast extension of the Turnpike. That'll slow you down as well. So these storms really have no regard for people trying to get home on a Friday. Here's some heavy rain over Torresdale. Again, just pushed down to Delran, slowing things down once again on that stretch of 95. But our strongest storm is this one right here. It has a severe thunderstorm warning issued with it. It's right over Dover, and it has very heavy rain and lots and lots of dangerous lightning. It's not moving very quickly, and lightning extending into Cape May Point, West Cape May, and, of course, the city of Cape May with heavy rain along this line of storms. It's just been sitting there for quite some time. So your watches and warnings, the green here is a flood advisory and again a severe thunderstorm warning right around the city of Dover for that cell I just showed you. Temperatures have dropped a bit and certainly the areas that have seen some rain have seen a reduction in temperature as well. The current temp is 74 in Allentown, 79 in Trenton. We're still at 85 in Philadelphia, 77 in Millville. A little less rain in the city allowed temperatures to warm up a little higher than we were anticipating today, but it's still very humid. Even though it's 10 degrees cooler than it was at this time yesterday, the dew point is still 70, so it's not feeling all that much more comfortable, but it will. Tonight, scattered showers and storms persist, and even into the overnight hours, we have scattered showers, especially off to the south tomorrow. It will be a cloudy day. Not a total washout, but showers at any time. I think Sunday does feature a better chance of heavy rain, especially Sunday afternoon and at night as this system starts to move in. So overnight will drop to a low temperature of 65 degrees. It is cloudy and humid with a few thunderstorms. Let's talk quickly about Florence. We'll have more in our next half hour, but Tropical Storm Florence is an increased east coast risk as it is expected to re-strengthen. This is the latest track. Better news for us here in Philadelphia than what we were looking at yesterday, but not good news if you're in the southeast or the mid-Atlantic. This could be a Category 4 by next Wednesday when it will threaten especially the southeast coast of the country. Again, more on that coming up in our next half hour. As we take a quick look at your seven-day forecast, there's that cool down over the weekend. Only 60s on Sunday. Sunday looks like the wetter day. Heaviest rain will be in the afternoon and at night. Monday, rainy again. Tuesday and Wednesday, we heat back up to the upper 80s. And then chance for clouds and showers late next week. Of course, that all depends on what impacts, if any, we see mm -hmm. from Florence. It's